Hi everyone, I'm Ahmad Gad from PTEC. <clears throat> you are welcome on a series of fast effective scientific capsules. On this series, I will discuss some important information related to the exam. Capsule number two. Warfarin. Warfarin is one of the very important drugs for any pharmacist all over the world. Its importance is due to its efficacy and the interaction with many drug products, also its interaction with the food. So let us see what is warfarin and what is its interaction. What is warfarin? Warfarin is one of the most famous oral anticoagulant. It also called vitamin K antagonist because of its uh, action which is antagonized the action of vitamin K. Warfarin have many trade names all over the world and two of the most famous trade names are Comadine and Marivan. When we study the structure of warfarin we find that it belongs to Comarine derivative. Also all oral anticoagulant belongs to this group having the same basic structure which is Comarine ring. In warfarin there is two isomers, R and S isomers. This due to present of chiral carbon. And this chiral carbon may give the warfarin its R configuration or S configuration. And the active one, the S configuration. If it is present in racemic mixture, uh, its activity will decrease. How warfarin is act? Let us see first the transformation of vitamin K to the another form and reformation of vitamin K in the body. This two steps depends on two enzymes. Carboxylase enzyme, which convert vitamin K to its inactive form, vitamin K epoxide. Then there is an enzyme make a reactivation of vitamin K, which is reductase enzyme, which convert vitamin K epoxide and make a reduction for it to form vitamin K. The action of warfarin here is to inhibit the vitamin K hepatic reductase enzyme so that it prevents the step of transformation from vitamin K epoxide to the active form which is vitamin K. What about the uses of warfarin? All uses here depends on its action in uh, prevention of coagulation. So it can be used in deep vein thrombosis, in pulmonary embolism, in clots formation due to arterial arrhythmias also can be used in prosthetic cardiac valves. All of these uses warfarin prevent the formation of clots so it acts as anticoagulant. Warfarin has many adverse effects all of them related to the bleeding. So it may cause uncontrolled bleeding in any part of the body may cause also skin necrosis, purple 2 syndrome, alopecia may be observed. Warfarin also is contraindicated in pregnancy because it may cause birth defect. So why warfarin is very important drug? Because of its toxicity. The toxicity of warfarin may lead to bleeding and this toxicity may happen when combined warfarin with any other drug that can affect the metabolism of warfarin. So it is very important to know the warfarin interactions. But before that, we should know the metabolism of warfarin. Uh, warfarin is a substrate for the enzyme cytochrome P2C9. Therefore, any drug can affecting this enzyme, it will affect the metabolism of warfarin. We should know the interactions with warfarin very well and knowing which drug can inhibit the cytochrome P2C9 and which drug can induce this enzyme. If the drug inhibits this enzyme, cytochrome P2C9, it will increase the risk of bleeding by increasing the INR. Also, if the drug is cytochrome p 2C9 inducers, it will increase the risk of coagulation.
because it will activate the metabolism of warfarin and decrease its effect so that the INR will be decreased and the probability of coagulation will increase. So we must know very well the drug inducer and drug inhibitors that will affect the metabolism of warfarin. Thank you and see you in the next capsule.